Hey, it's Nico. Um, this is my seven months on tea, so I'm just doing a quick video. Um, I didn't have time to do it on, on Friday, so it's a few days late, but um, please bear with me. I didn't have um, enough energy to do the to make the video. Um, so yeah, seven months is pretty crazy. Um, it goes by really quickly. You don't really think it does until you're already like a certain amount of months or weeks into the um, hormone therapy. Um, it's been really good for me. Um, I feel a lot more better in a way. And I also have some other good news which I will put in another video because I just want this one to be um, about my seven months on tea. So um, after I post this video, I'll post my other video. Um, sorry if you hear any background noise. Uh, I'm in my house with the dogs, so no guarantee that they won't bark during this video. Um, for physical changes, I've seen a little bit more stomach hair, which is cool. Um, leg hair is still pretty long, and I don't think it's grown anymore. Um, there's, I have a few chin hairs, but that's about it, and um, a light mustache right here, but um, it doesn't show on camera unless I take pictures. Um, my eyebrows are definitely thicker than pre t which I noticed, and my doctor pointed it out to me too. Um, my Adam's apple is still there. I don't. I think you can see it right there. Um, for mental changes, um, I haven't been anything. I haven't um, seen anything mentally yet. All I know is that I'm in a much greater mood um, and more comfortable with myself. That's that's definitely the number one thing. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty cool for seven months. Um, I know I'm not really good at making these videos, and I'm surprised any of you even watch me. But um, thank you for um, watching my videos and watching me go through this journey and, and stuff like that. Um, I just want to document my transition and hopefully um, show other people what it's like to go through um, hormone therapy and just anything trans related, like transition related, I mean. Um, and hopefully help somebody whose parents aren't accepting. I'm not really good at giving advice, but if you want to know something, you can ask and I'll try to answer it the best I can. I'm actually, I'm actually planning to do a Q&A with my mom about trans-related things. I'm not sure when that will be, but um, I'll try to figure that out. I'm still pretty shy, like camera shy, but even by myself. So imagine somebody else in the room and I'm talking to them and talking to the camera, so that's pretty awkward for me. So I'll see how that goes. Um, actually, my mom won't be on the camera with me. She'll be behind camera because I want to um, respect her privacy. So yeah, I'll, I'll be talking to her um, when she's behind the camera. Um, I have noticed that my shots are getting a little bit more difficult to do. The one One shot took me at least 20 minutes to actually um, like, for me to actually do it, but, um, I'm trying to figure out why it's been so hard right now. I mean, the first few months into, um, t testosterone, I was doing my shot in, like, less than a minute, but now it's taking me a little bit more. I guess it's because I keep thinking about it before I actually inject the, the needle and whatever, which also gives me anxiety and basically stops me from doing the shot a little bit and I'm kind of dreading Fridays now. Not too much that I'm actually gonna stop testosterone, just a little bit where it's like, oh, I have to do my shot today, but I really don't want to. So I, I just usually get it done eventually. Um, so yeah, seven months, that's crazy. Sorry, I'm just rambling. Um, I should really write stuff down before I make a video because I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to talk about and then do the video. But yeah, I'm, I'm sorry it's a couple days late, but um, at least you're getting a video, right? Um, I don't think my hairline has changed any. Maybe it just a little bit here, but I'm not really sure. Um, my f I don't really have a jawline unless I move my face a certain way, but yeah, my face is still pretty chubby. Um, I don't think I've noticed anything else other than that. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the, end the video here. 
and then put in the comparison pictures from pre t to now, and then the voice comparisons at, at the end, and then I'll upload my other video, which is pretty exciting. Oh, also, quick thing, I also got my name and gender marker legally changed on my social security card and my ID, which is pretty cool. Um, I've been waiting a long time to do that. The only thing that I'm having problems with is that I can't change my birth certificate because I live in Texas and I was born in Puerto Rico and they have different laws. So I have to be in Puerto Rico physically to fill out a petition for my name change. I can't do anything about my gender marker yet because they don't allow that there. But somebody told me that next year in 2019 that um, they're gonna pass a law to let you change your gender marker. So we'll see how that goes and We'll just take it. I'll just take it step by step to see what happens. If not, then it's whatever, I guess. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Um, I'll put in the comparisons right now, and I'll end this video. So bye. Hey guys, this is my voice pre-T. This is my voice seven months on T.